I did Are You Garbage? And the I, best. I think it comes out either tomorrow or the next day. I forget. But they were literally like, you're the, you had the worst upbringing. I go, whoa, whoa. You had Joey Diaz on. Like, yeah. six, <laughs> six t- what yeah. the fuck are you saying? They go, no, no. I mean, like, I go, no, no. You can't take that back. <laughs> they had so many people on that. They have Miss Pat. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you have um, just bizarre, more you, bizarre stories. Are we rolling yet? It's uh, fine if we are. We, yes, we true. are. Yes, okay, but we, we don't have to start yet. No, Lee's okay. very professional. Did you see the contract? I saw anyway. it. Yeah, <laughs> I saw. I also saw there was more than one page, dude. You I, know what I'm doing? I excited. Nothing. Shit. <laughs> Contract, and then they're just gonna bury me in the walls here. We'll see what happens. That's well, our health insurance. It is a pleasure to be here on the Comedy <laughs> Store podcast with Eleanor Kerrigan. I'm Ryan Sickler, everybody. I'm supposed to do that. I know. Well, you don't take my job. This well, you got fucking. You showed up podcast. late. You didn't even say hello to me. I, you were in the back smoking weed. Then you started talking <laughs> to somebody. You're gonna break my. Balls? I just was checking on Mark Maron's foot. So was I. Yeah. That's why I, I immediately I saw Brian, then I saw Mark, and I saw his foot, and I go, you all right? He goes, I broke it, but I'm all right. So this is my <laughs> second calm, time on cool. the podcast. I know. I'm and it's excited. also the second time Rick was unavailable And I think well. we should shit on him I'm for it. I'm starting to take this it personally. Is, yeah. You know? When he texted today, I was like, oh, shit, he's sick. And then I was like, oh, Sickler's on the podcast mm-hmm. tonight. But I said that to Brian. I go, last time I did it with just me and him. But who cares? We don't need him. No. You know what, Rick? I mean, they're so Get pumped out here. When I pulled up at the parking lot, they're like, what show are you doing? I was like, the podcast. They're like, what podcast? I was like, the Comedy Store podcast. Everybody. They're like, where is that? I'm like, downstairs. In the f- are you kidding me, me? They're fired it. up about it here. They're very fired up. I can tell Everybody there's been a lot of contracts it. signed for it already. <laughs> We're all a lot under of NDAs. contract. Everybody's got to act like they don't know about it. It's it's very quiet. You're not allowed to talk about well, it. Well, we were two rooms over, I think, last time or whatever that room was. Yeah, over right there. over there. Yeah. See, they've come up. Mm-hmm. Do you this like looks the, great. Look You're at doing the plants. A great job. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, you got foliage. It looks great it's in here. Unbelievable. You the believe that grows? Flora and fauna back here. Those that grows thing. down here. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. <laughs> See, all the dead this. souls just feeding no, no, that. No, no, don't look at those. Those they live here. They're they're, they're just watching. Well, those are our listeners. Can I tell you that? It's as a plug, but a request. But I started also, a new podcast called The Way Back. Yes, I saw. And I would love to have you on. Dude, it is no, I tailor need made to for be you. on. We sit on the old school station wagon that faces out the back. I have a back seat. My daughter picked it out. We went out to east, somewhere east of here, and some dude reupholsters them, and we picked one up, brought That's it great. back. My grandmom's Afghans across the back, and it's thirty minutes. It's tailored to eighties babies. In the sense that we wanted to put it up four by three, but YouTube's algorithm doesn't like the way we used to watch TV, a proper square almost. Oh, I see what you mean. So we rounded the corners. Okay. So it looks like everything's 30 minutes and under like a sitcom back in the day. Perfect. And it's just laughter and nostalgia. There's, I I mean, I really don't want you to even talk about college, but that's as far as we'll go. This is all childhood. Well, then it's going to be less than 30 minutes if it's (laughs) college. (laughs) Sorry. I didn't know. So come and watch test. my special comedy store please, podcast. Please, Listen, that's another thing I want to talk directed to you about. It my, I, I directed it myself. I produced it. My buddy Sam Volan, who works with me on the way back, cut it. I worked with the Dynasty on because it because you did it all yourself. All. and the, to me, that's and in two weeks amazing. it had five hundred fifty thousand downloads, that's... and then YouTube pulled it from the algorithm, flagged why? it, demonet. It. They don't tell you why. They just said they had someone review it. Doesn't seem fit for all advertisers. So I was well on my way to a million, which was just my personal goal because it's a nice round sure. number. And I'm <laughs> around eight fifty right now. Even th- I got three hundred thousand out of the algorithm. I did it in May. So did it come back? It's not coming back. You just got to go find it. It's there. They haven't removed it. They just don't share it, suggest it. They don't help it in any way. They And then I can't make money off of it either because they say it's not appropriate for advertisers. So I'm still trying to get to that million, and I want people to go watch it and support it on YouTube. And check out the Way Back in the Honeydew podcast. And the, if you want to know what episodes to go to first— this young lady's episodes right here. We have so are much fun. That's why I was like, instant classic. Rick's not Every Rick's one of them. sick, but I don't give a shit. Sickler's no. coming in. I'm coming. And I'm I see excited. you. I'm so sick of hearing about Charlie my whole fucking uh, <laughs> comedy career with you. And then I get to That's meet my brother, him. Charlie. I finally get to meet him in so Philly excited. when I was there. Gave you a spot, and I'm talking to Charlie. I'm like, you motherfucker. The greatest. Charlie's know. on. I don't know which life, but he's probably eight. He's close to eight or nine right now. I got to be honest. Charlie's been through some shit. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, we laugh. Like, we always joke. He got sick a couple weeks ago, and we were like, damn, which life is he on? Because he's like a cat. I've told you all the stories. We talk. That's why everybody loves Charlie, because you could tell stories, and they're like, that really fucking happened? I'm like, yeah, Charlie the Tiger Whisperer. I talked about that on uh, Are You Garbage? So, listen, but, I don't, know, we had I don't know who's not working with you, but somebody needs to figure it the fuck out. <laughs> All I ever hear, let me tell you what I hear from people I know that, like I grew up with that are also fans of comedy that yeah. know I know you all and stuff. You're 100% number one, no doubt. I listen, love you. I, would, I sent my friends Ziggler, from Baltimore when we, we were <laughs> When we were in Love Philly, him. and I said, go I'm watch kidding. Eleanor right now. She's not a regular. And I didn't say female comic. I was like, she's not your regular old bullshit comic. Go Got fuck it. And they loved you. They loved you. Aww. But no disrespect to Joey Diaz or Miss Pats or anything, but your story is just as unique and no, diverse and not different. it's unique. I just, I'm thinking it is like unique. wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My it's, dad, unique. it's unique. You had a tiger in it. the neighborhood. You had 14, <laughs> your mom didn't even have a uterus for God's sake and still she had did. six She did, she held it. It was like her purse. <laughs> she would just. <laughs> Carry that fucking uterus. Oh around. no, another one coming out. <laughs> oh, we're going to call you Charlie. <laughs> oh, is that Charlie? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sin. Oh my God. Your dad's pullout game sucks. It's just horrible. Yeah, laziest guy. <laughs> it's also like, I know there's billions of people. So to say it's hard to have a house. kid yeah, yeah. in your house is stupid to say. However, it isn't that easy. If you're trying to get someone pregnant, it's not that easy. Well, the right. fact that what is what? How many siblings are there? 12? There's ten. There's ten, ten of us. Ten. Yeah. Of you. ten but my mom's That's sister had ten kids. I know. If my mom goes, if he didn't leave, I'd have twenty. <laughs> Get your fucking you get dick out. out. <laughs> Stop. Stop. It catches. Finishing it I got a fucking catcher in there. Carlos Ruiz is in there. Just fucking catching. What are you doing? Oh, man. <laughs> like, I can't. I just, yeah, she, she kills me, my mom. But yeah, that's. And then my dad left. So that made the story even crazier. Did he go have more kids somewhere no. else? I don't remember. And okay. all of a sudden he learned how all to All of a sudden he out. put his dick in his pants. <laughs> All of a sudden, it don't work. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why, but that's interesting. And he married a woman with no kids. Is that I mean, right? it's clear that it was our fault that he left. No doubt. No <laughs> doubt. Every single one of you. No fucking doubt. Especially Charlie. That's his name. Ten safe. kids <laughs> is insane. Yeah. It will, I my, have one. It's difficult. I was just going to ask you, how it's is difficult. your daughter? It's She's awesome. She's nine now. Wow, that's a great age. She's nine, and she's funny as shit. She's smart. She's quick. You're going to tell her not to get into comedy, right? I've already told her. Thank like, God. Stop, don't go anywhere Listen, near this shit. Don't. And, you know, and people don't. were like, how'd you get into it? And I'm like, it's not a fun story. I'm not telling it. It's not good. I try to tell her, like, there's, you know, to tell a nine-year-old anything is, is a, uh, you know, to understand this business, to tell shit a 59-year-old. Right, <laughs> right. But I'm telling her, like, there's no structure. There's no, it doesn't matter if you're better, faster, stronger. It's a lot of staying in it, staying consistent, yeah. being ready for the break. If there, Because one will Being come. able to take punches. Being able to get back up, keep fucking walking. <laughs> Rocky. All that, Sorry. right? But if you want to be a doctor, you do these things. And these after the eight steps. years, there's there's no, here's how you become a lawyer, a yeah, judge, yeah. a police officer. You don't not there's get no in. There's no curriculum. <laughs> yeah, right. It's not like you do this They're for like, 10 years and you're a paid comedian no matter what. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. But yeah. she's funny because like three years ago, she was like six and I had to take her to La Jolla with me. I didn't okay. have a sitter or anything. And I was like, whatever. I'm gonna we take work her. in the comedy store. Mm -hmm. Nice. I like that. And um, we were at the hotel now because the condo's gone. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It is different. Do you prefer? <laughs> Which one do you like better? <laughs> yeah. These There's motherfuckers took the condo, they flipped it into an Airbnb. I'm done. Where's that contract? Let me sign that. <laughs> Me, Once you post. sign that contract, you can get back in the condo. I was out wondering what it was. Is that on page 19? Yeah, yeah, Where is that? That's a Peter special. In perpetuity across all <laughs> planets and solar systems and universes, known or unknown, or food to be just discovered. Just hurts. Just hurts. Yeah. Right? It just hurts. I'm doing the belly room at the store on fucking Uranus tonight. We're streaming it live. You can watch it. I Let hope it doesn't. That it's going to get flagged if you don't sign that contract. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to 
going to be fun. The, I don't the contract's the contract fine. Last time it's I did this fine. Show. You all Listen, a long way. you don't have to sign it. I have to sign it. And yeah. I sign over kidneys and things like And I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Give it all. This is exactly why I tell my daughter not to get into this <laughs> shit right here because of podcast <laughs> contracts, stuff like that. Like, you want to talk about contracts? Yeah. <laughs> Are we talking about? <laughs> I tell her all the time, don't go near comedy. No, it's, I mean, it's so hard. And like, I have a niece that's like, I think I'm, I, I want to get into showbiz. I'm like, no, bitch, just, just stay home. But here's the other thing too. Like when we came up, it was, if you were funny, you did stand up. Some people may have done improv, but okay. those were sort of the, the two outlets that sure. you could use. Now you can stand at home in your bedroom in a bathroom or whatever. Yeah. Do a fucking TikTok, never leave the house and have a million followers. Yeah. Like it's not the same. No. So now I tell them like the kid, she's in third grade. There's a few kids that already have YouTube channels and shit. Yeah. And they're doing content and they're doing this. Or at that. nine too. Yeah. That's at you. So it scares the fuck out of me that now you're also into this universe where there's a gazillion people out there, freaks of all nature, oh, everything. Yeah. But I'm like, you could do, it's you can be funny. You don't ever have to stand on stage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't ever have to do mm -hmm. that anymore. My my nephew, when he was nine during the pandemic, he he was going to school like outside of the neighborhood and he had a lot of good friends in there. My sister-in-law was trying to like do something good. So then the pandemic hit and he didn't have any friends. So all he knew was well, on YouTube, well, on YouTube, I'm like, listen, motherfucker, no YouTube. I don't know what you're talking about. So I came home. I drove across the country to Philly, and I started a gang with him. What do you mean? Like, I got him friends. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. And so I started a YouTube page called Com Comrade and Nan L. <laughs> nah. -uh. You and, got him. You got him like people hanging out on them and stuff. Oh yeah, I got me and him playing football, and uh, we playing hockey together, and I'm kicking the shit out of him, and I'm hitting his friends, and I'm now they're all friends, and Annel just creepily left out. But for a while, their parents were showing up like, "Who the fuck is that old lady? Why does she have football pads on? What's happening right now?" She used to be like, a wrestler. <laughs> did she just drop kick did my she son? Just used to be a Oh, there was one day we did. And I'm saying, but I felt bad. Like he didn't know anybody. <coughs> but all they know is YouTube. And I was like, well, that's I will not give real him some life. credit. <clears throat> that's not real life. You got to get out. My dad died when I was 16. Mm -hmm. I've learned a lot from you. Bring YouTube. that up a lot. I all do, right. yeah. No, I've learned a lot from YouTube. Really? Learn how to tie a. Um, oh, oh, you mean that way? I've learned how to tie a double wind. Like a do knot, it yourself. Cadillac and knots. Yeah, you don't need a parent to teach you how to paint and do shit. It's all right it's there. True. You know, that's why they YouTube. Yeah, no. It's a verb in their head. You know what I mean? Right, right. Well, he, I'm. Like it's, FedEx is for us, or, or, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like FedEx it. If he was learning something, I'd be excited, but he's watching them. Play video games. Yeah, that's and the I'm only like, thing that trip me out. My stepson would do that. I'm like, I'll fucking kill what are you, you doing? Are you playing right now? He's like, No, I'm watching. I go, Are yeah. you dead in like the queue watching? He goes, No, I'm watching. I go, You're fucking watching videos of people, people play video, video games? games. Like, yeah, strategy. I'm like, Get the fuck out of here. Dude. And I go, y y You got to play. That's why I made him go out. And then he, he used to just come home. I think it was called the jellies or something. Oh my yeah, God. The jellies. My mother is right. used to go That's right. ballistic. What is that noise? What is that? And, Whatever fuck it is. I, so I made him go outside. I taught him how to play football. You teach him how <laughs> well, to ride a bike or anything football. like that? No, he knew. He, they're very athletic. And my brother's athletic too, Billy. But me and Billy are real close in age. We're the Irish twins. Mm -hmm. So it, one day I, I was like, these kids, we were playing football. And they're a little bit older kids. Are you the, always the girl or were there other girls? Was there no, 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 I'm the only girl. You're the only it's girl. It's all little boys. Right. It's not creepy at all. <laughs> Are you sitting on their face and shit when you tackle them? <laughs> just in your bed. Uh, uh. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> but I do remember, like, just one day, a little bit, maybe 12 year old kids, right? Mixed, white, black, whatever. So, but they're a little bigger, you know? So I'm with nine year olds, 10 year olds. And that, that one year, 11, <sighs> Boys are a lot bigger. So me and my brother Billy are the steady quarterbacks. And they go, we want to play tackle. <laughs> and my nephew's like, okay. <laughs> but he's a little kid, you know. Oh, my God. 
It was so bad. Billy got tackled. I I got pants and tackled. Pants. Oh, yeah, they were pulling me down. <laughs> One kid was like, "I'm afraid to touch her." I'm like, "Don't be afraid to touch me." <laughs> then he just then he molested me. I was like, "I don't know if this is legal." Oh, it was you were so t- at good. first I thought you were talking about when no. you were a kid. You were playing with all the no, boys. No, no, You're no, talking no. about now. Right That's now. okay. Right this second, my brother Billy almost broke a hip. Pants. We were dying. <laughs> How old are these kids? Like nine, ten? Well, the ones that technically my nephew's friends were nine, yeah. ten. And then these older kids wanted to play. So I'll me and bet. Billy were like, After that's you're how you out learn. There pulling your pants down, here they all come with their little boners. Yeah. You know, you just made me think of. Your boner? My boner. <laughs> the, do I need to sign a contract for that, my boner? No, no, no. Those are free agents. Uh, I, um, the first time I saw boobs in real life. Okay. You're is not what you're expecting. So, a friend we were in ninth grade. We're in ninth grade. Wow. I live in Maryland. We used to take the bus before we drive. We're taking the bus from uh, the stop at this little church to high school and back. And I had a friend at the time who was a bigger dude, but he was soft. He was yeah. he was the guy that the kids who wanted to prove something would go after him just because he was big. But he wasn't that. You know, he didn't have that yeah. animal instinct, you know. He was just He a wouldn't hurt you. Solid Gentle dude. giant. So there's this kid that's bugging him on the fucking bus and just bullying him for a while. Aw. And don't do that. Um, I get mad. And my friend finally decides to stick up for himself. Okay. And this kid, he tells the kid, he's like, I'm gonna fuck you up today. We're like, fuck yeah, Norris. We call him Puddin'. <laughs> We're like, fuck him up. Puddin'. Puddin'. That's a, that's a real like street this. tough name. Though. I'm gonna fuck you Aww. up today. I'm tired of it. God damn it. Oh. We got off that bus, and I don't know, he unleashed everything he had yeah. and grabbed that kid and just started. He's so now the kid's on his back. He punched him and knocked him down. Kid's on his back. And we are, he is. Norris is straddled over him. He's just just yeah. giving it to him yeah. and fucking this kid up. And we're just Love like, fuck, we ain't stopping. No, we're stopping people from stopping it. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, he's getting this one. He's getting this Let one. Let him have it. He's fucking it up. And this girl out of nowhere comes up <sighs> and she takes a Justin Tucker field goal kick. And nice. And hits, no, my friend no. in the nuts. So he's straddling like on dog, you know, he's on all fours. And she just goes, boom. And you hear a thud. Like I've never heard in my life. And a squeal pudding. come out of pudding. <laughs> yeah. And he just rolled off and screamed. And all he could say was, somebody get her. That's all he could say. <laughs> But he knew it was a girl that he came knew. out of the side. Oh. He knew when he rolled over, he saw her. She kicked the shit out of his nuts. Oh, and now no, the kid why? gets... Why? Why? Because she was Because she other... felt bad that her friend, who had been the bully, is now getting his ass yeah, whipped. Yeah, so yeah. she thinks, I need to stick up for my friend. Kicks Norris in the nuts. Yeah. And then he rolls off and the kid runs home. Uh-huh. Now, we had this homegirl that lived right next door to me who was... Good girl, but her brothers were bikers. You yeah. Know, a little trouble. Yeah, yeah. Her name was Shannon. I won't say okay. her last name. She's still on Facebook out. out there. Shannon. Mm-hmm. She was, remind me a lot of you, you know, okay. some <laughs> denim, oh. some so feather bag she- hair, and no motherfucking problem with putting hands on somebody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> remind me a lot of you. Thank you. So we get on the bus the next day, and she goes right up to that girl. That girl has glasses, and she just goes, that's how she says hello. Punches her in the face. And that girl's like, what? And she goes, when we get off this bus, I'm kicking your ass today. And we're like, oh, yeah. Woo! This girl has already been cracked in her face hard. Yeah. Like, it looked glasses like Shannon's brothers might have yeah, taught yeah. her a little bit. You know what I mean? Sure. Cracked her glasses a little bit, bent them in, and it's pushed. And she's already teared up like, oh, I'm going to get my ass beat. This is the nut kicker. This is the nut kicker. Yeah. So Norris is, we're all fired up. Like, we're about to see a girl fight, but this ain't going to be a regular girl fight. Right, right. Shannon's going to fight this, this yeah. like a dude. You know what I mean? I'm, it ain't going to be a bunch of hair pulling and scratching. Yeah. Shannon knows how to bang, bang, bang. Yeah, get it in. So we get off the bus, and that girl tries to run. And Shannon, by the way, this is all in the front of a church. That's where it's <laughs> in the church parking lot. This is the Lord is watching. Little, little, little yeah. lawn right there. And as a matter of fact, if you've ever seen the movie, um, uh, Cry Baby, John Waters, one of my favorites. Johnny Depp, Absolutely. the Chatterbox Orphanage. Yes. This is yes. the church right out okay. front. That's okay. where you, now you can see where he. Yeah, yeah. 
Do you know? I mean, when I'm you a watch big it Walter again, fan. I'm telling you, when you he, watch it again, I'm this watching. is where I saw boobs for the first time on this, this is, church. I can't wait because Shannon church and titties this girl. Up. Okay, and then for all the boys to embarrass her, she r- grabs her shirt and pulls her bra off, and we're all like, Ah! And Shannon's like, Don't fuck with my friend again, bitch, and get, and then took her bra. And then while that's happening, my friend who she kicked in the nuts is taking her binder and he's just skipping through the cemetery. And I mean, just loose leafing it everywhere. That's the first time I ever saw boobs. Thank you, Shannon. By the way, thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Shannon. There's so much I want to thank Shannon for. Uh, another one she pulled picking that up girl's for boobs out for all of us. Two, yeah. uh, just ripping the top off, taking the bra with her. I you mean, know? man, it was very aggressive. But we, yeah, that's fucking. And she was on the good side. Mm-hmm. See, we had girls in our neighborhood that would jump you, take your shirt off, and you'd have to walk home from Broad and Snyder with no top. <laughs> In the winter, you fucking bitch. Broad and Snyder. These fucking bitches were hard. Broad Street titties. Uh, I... <laughs> the Broad Street bullies are pulling out the titties. <laughs> That's what it was. Broad Street Listen, titties. I'm remember shirts, Forrest man. Gump when he started running yeah. and it just went real fast? That was me when I felt them coming up on me. Because it wasn't just one. There was a bunch of them. And that's what they were known for. And all of a sudden, I'm down, down Broad Street. <laughs> Fastest. You ain't yeah, seeing my titties. That's what I'll I'm show saying. them if I want them. But that's you ain't the whole showing thing. them. You don't get to show these titties. <laughs> these are my titties. What well, time, my brother? <laughs> somebody somebody asked. the nuts because now your titties, everybody saw yeah. your titties. And also, good thing, because back then, if we all would have had cell phones, we'd have been like, ah! And then your well, titties you, are you, all over the place. When the titties come out, you guys stop cheering, right? You're like... No, when the titties came out, that's we cheered harder. Really? We, you were like, fuck her up, shut sure, fuck her, fuck her, fuck her. You know what I mean? It's like. I figured boys and were then, like, oh. ah, No, we were stoked. <laughs> Are you kidding? We're like, boobies. <laughs> like Shannon kind of did it for us. Like, y'all want to see some titties? Like, she didn't really do that. <laughs> But that hey, was the energy come over here, she had because she pulled that shirt off. But one for her, you know what I mean? Yeah. She was just humiliating this girl. So oh, well, somebody asked one of my brothers, uh, oh, you ever see your sister Eleanor's tits? And they're like, look, she don't have tits. <laughs> and I was like, you know, you know, why do you say that? I'll show them to him if I need to, you know. But like I, I had a crush on the kid, too. And he said that you ever see your sister's tits because boys are just pigs. And then my brother Man, said that it continues. It doesn't stop. It doesn't we stop. Still are, yeah. They get bigger. This mm-hmm. stays real small. Feeble minded. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know it. It's I'm not sickening. denying it. Are you single? Are you married? You're not married. I'm not married, but I'm S- seeing someone. Yeah. Well, exciting. Mm-hmm. OK. Is it good? Is your comic? No. Thank goodness. <laughs> nope. I was watching Christina and Tom, yeah. and I thought, my God, they are so cute together. And Bonnie and Rich. I was going to say, Bonnie and Rich do it well. Christina and Tom do it well. There's someone else. I feel like there's another. Is that it? I don't know. Is that the only married couple? Oh, wait. wait. Natasha no. and Moshe. Yes, of course. Uh, they do it well. They, well, they do their podcast where mm-hmm. they do marriage advice and stuff like that. So I don't know. I, I'm I, not. I don't know. Like, I don't subscribe to. Look, I grew up Catholic in the Catholic Church. Well, so is that how you got into the titties? What and are you the, whole, the whole thing that turned me off to the Catholic Church was the Catholic Church. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I was like, wait, what? Um, but I don't believe in like traditional marriage in that sense. Like, there's no way I'm stepping oh, yeah, in a church to get married yeah. by a priest. Uh, yeah, but I've been engaged a couple of times. I've been engaged. Have you a couple? Yeah, a three. Well, one the dice, right? One the dice. You got to bring up a wall. You never know. officially got married, though. No, any of the times. No, not a closer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a middler. <laughs> Shot in the middle and stayed in Wait. it. How old were you the first time you got engaged? Twenty five. And who was that with? Uh, his name's Billy. Okay. And how long did the engagement last? Not real long. He was uh he started doing speedball, so we got out of that one okay. quick. <laughs> All right, then number two. Andrew Dice. H- how old are you then? Mm, thirty three? Thirty four. Okay. I forget. And how long did I that engagement it out. last? <laughs> like a mild molestation. Um how did we? How long did it last? Uh, like a year. He gets. Okay. He's gonna get mad. He's gonna get mad if he hears this because I always mess it up. Well, I told somebody we were together five years. He said six. I'm like, we all just don't know anything. I don't remember. 
It okay. really, it was so long ago, it feels like. And then after that engagement, how old are you? 33. How old are you the third time you get engaged? So the third time I'm in my 40s and that was my last boy, like serious boyfriend. And why didn't you get engaged or we, married? Excuse me. He also, was, God love him. Great guy. A little nutty. A little nutty. Jealous. Little things. You have to explain everything. Like if, I, if I'm sitting with you in this basement and there's three dudes, right? And I, I give you a hug. I give them. Why well, have to hug them all? Oh, like that. I don't know. Because I fucking did. But I'm like a dog. I'm very loyal. So I hate when people question it. And once you, if you question it too much, I shut down. So that's it. It, doesn't, it didn't work. It didn't work. But uh, do you want to be married? No, I don't no. think so. That's why the engagement is a weird thing. Uh, I'm like, I'm cool. We could just chill. I don't need paperwork. I already got a contract for my podcast. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, it's probably in there somewhere. You're <laughs> married by the time you sign that motherfucker. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I sold my soul to the store years ago. <laughs> years ago. Yeah. Somebody took it out. I think Kinnison ripped it out of my soul in the main room at one point. I don't know. I never met him, but I, I, I always feel him here. Is that weird? Like, or whatever. The idea of him, mm -hmm. the presence. Because I don't know him. Like, it, Let me ask you this. Let's get into some comedy questions. Great. Who, what, who are you looking up to when you started comedy? Like, who are your guys? Or well, my, people? I mean, my comedy heroes have always heroes. been uh, Pryor nice. and Carlin are my top two. Ooh, okay. I am proud to say my father and I, he, because he never introduced me to him, I never cared for Cosby. I never cared for oh, Bill Cosby. I was like, okay. fuck this guy. I didn't never thought he was a rapist, but I was always just like, man, fuck this guy. So I'm glad something I didn't. Something bothered you about it, him. Something about him was, but also my dad would point it out to like, look how he's talking to those people. And, and you know, he would always shit on um, Pryor Murphy for cussing and sure, things like that. Sure. So I looked Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, George Carlin. They're the three. And then off of them, I mean, one of my favorites still is um, Rodney Dangerfield. Of course. Um, so do you know what his headstone says? Yeah. Uh, what is? Go ahead. There I, goes I the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How awesome is that? <laughs> it's so good. Not comic or anything. Just there goes the motherfucking neighborhood. You know what I mean? Rodney's moving in. <laughs> just self-deprecating to the end. <laughs> to the end. To forever. The end. Not to the end. Forever yeah, now. Yeah, forever. Forever. Because yeah. it's just, it, yeah, it's there. Um, Stephen Wright, I loved. But then oh, I, I got it. Robin Harris. Him. And I just, I grew up watching a lot of black sitcoms. Me it's, too. It's what was on. The Jeffersons, What's Happening. Yeah. Um, we watched Good Times. We watched... Um, God, what else? There were so many different worlds. We Sanford did. I did watch Cosby. Different worlds. Sanford's son, of course. Yeah. I did watch Cosby Show. Mm -hmm. I did enjoy the Cosby Show. I just never was a fan of his stand up. I, I loved Bill Cosby himself. And that was just something my brothers would play. I wasn't super into comedy. Like, like you're saying all these things. But I remember watching Bill Cosby himself, and I could literally play the parts because yeah. they watched it so much. And it was the only one my mother didn't make them turn off because if they were watching prior, it was too much cursing. Right. If it was Eddie or Dice or anything, else, it was too much cursing. So we'd have to wait for her to go to bed to watch the others. Or Johnny would play it in the basement, like, come here, come here, listen. You know, I'm like, it's disgusting. What did he just say? You know, but. I couldn't wait to go to bed at night because I would just pop my prior cassette in my headphones. You oh, know, remember you had that old so metal ass headphones. Funny. Yeah. And I'd listen to, that's how I'd listen to it and get away with it. Oh. You know, just the audio of that. And God then my friends, we'd pass around, like, here's Eddie Murphy, Delirious. Well, it was Comedian was the audio. Delirious was the video. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd listen to a lot of that. And then the the way the, the whole bug bit me was at, at around 10 or 11, I snuck downstairs. And we're living in Maryland at the time. And back then, we had this thing called Super TV. And it was a cable box, about the size of the boxes they give you out today. And I yeah. say this all the time. And around, I don't know when, I don't. Did uh, it have the buttons? Yep. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah I like, that. But at like 6 o'clock, you'd press <laughs> this button on it, and then you would get HBO and like Playboy Channel. But back then, it was literally topless tic-tac-toe. Yeah. Like, that's as far as it went, you know, shit like that. Not bad. And, it's um, a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I don't remember what else. Another channel or whatever. And I sneak down the stairs one night, and I'm laying, do you call it a foyer or a foyer? I wouldn't even say that word. I don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> we got the living room, and then we got the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, that was my grandma's Sorry, house, too. The row home. Yeah. 
We had a little area mm -hmm. that I believe you're supposed to say foyer, foyer, but we're white trash. We grew up saying foyer. Like, okay. uh, did you say chest of drawers or Chester drawers? Drawers. <laughs> What's a chest? Oh, like it's a, a chest, chest of drawers, oh. literally. But people used to say Chester drawers. I'm like, what is it? Dresser. Sometimes Look, where my I'm mom from, would say that. In Maryland, we say Washington. Dresser. Do you put an R in that? Washington. Yeah. Yeah. What's that thing called the heat comes out of? The radiator. <laughs> I, dude, I've been radiator. made fun of so much for saying radiator. <laughs> is it radiator or it's radiator? It's radiator. Okay, but yeah. I grew up in a junkyard Same. where I'm a like... tranny was a transmission. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. you walk out there now, like, where's that tranny? And like, the transmission? You're yeah, the transmission. Your car okay? <laughs> it used to be a Honda. <laughs> it's a Toyota now. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> oh boy. Um, <clears throat> um Yeah, it's just we do we have similar accents. Baltimore, yeah, but people Philly. beat me down and I didn't even realize it until one day a friend of mine goes, I'm in my thirties, and he goes, <clears throat> What are you saying again? I go, Washington. He goes, spell it. I go, W A S H I N G T O. He goes, Where's the R? I go, What? And then I say I'm like, Oh my God. And ever since that moment, I How about I've done washing my your best hands? To, you I, do that? You wash? Yeah, and I put my clothes my in the washer and dryer too. too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I got rid of it. That's one I got rid of. There's one my mom says that uh, her uh, she had a boyfriend for a little bit after my dad left, but not easy to have a boyfriend with I mean a tribe behind no you, shit. right? And this poor guy, she would go, I, I want to uh not wash my wash my teeth? Yeah, I, I gotta go wash my teeth. And he, it would drive him crazy. He's like, You mean brush your teeth? And she's like, Fuck is the difference, dude? I'm gonna go, you want me to sick my sons on you, bitch? Yeah. No, she didn't say that. But she should have kind of man. <laughs> Is gonna What's date gonna a woman with ten over? kids for real. Yeah. At what age range are you guys this when this dude shows most up? Uncomfortable part. Oh, I, th I thought you were gonna say when my dad left because uh, we'll start there then. When he left, the baby was three and the eldest was eighteen. That's fifteen years apart. If you okay. guys are doing the math at home, uh, and is eighteen leaving or is eighteen staying and helping? The eighteen other nine? was trying to leave. Yeah. Eighteen was out the door but 18 was like fuck what am I gonna do but it's my brother Tommy and then Karen and Kathleen so Tommy Karen Kathleen and a little bit of Jimmy took over mm -hmm. at, while she was trying to find jobs but they so we always like, we used to call Kathleen the warden like we were terrible Ka Karen was Hitler Tommy and Jimmy didn't give a shit you know but they were like horrible they would punish us Ch like Tommy and, and Jimmy you could get away with a little discipline? more discipline yeah or Jimmy just... Jimmy would discipline us yeah. too but like and then Johnny would try to get in I'm like no bitch you know like <laughs> You're not that much older, like, but uh, like if I was hanging out at Twelve Wolf, it, him and his best friend Rosario would drive by and be at like, "What? <laughs> Twelve Wolf? Is that what you said? What is that? An address or is that a place? Let me get my accent. Is that Twelve out of the... Wolf Street or is 12 that <laughs> is Twelve that... and Wolf? Okay, it's two streets. It's yeah, yeah, it's two of them. But 12 you say wolf. Twelve Wolf? Twelve Wolf. Twelve Wolf. Twelve Wolf. Twelve Wolf. You're saying and Twelve Wolf. Twelve Wolf. <laughs> South Philadelphia people. <laughs> if you're ever in there, just go Twan Wolf. I'm over at Twan Wolf. I'm not a big deal. <laughs> you sound like my deaf cousins when you say <laughs> Twan Wolf. Oh, oh. What? Where the fuck is she? Twan you wolf. can't hear me? I'm the one that can't hear, bitch. <laughs> no, it's so if I was hanging out on 12th and Wolf, mm -hmm. uh, they would drive by Johnny and Rosario would drive by and be like, get off. Oh, you know, like chasing. They wouldn't huh? take you. They just no, tell no, they you to would get chase there. me off the yeah. corner. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Because they were looking for girls. But if they saw mm -hmm. me out looking for boys, ugh, what a pig. You know, what a problem. But they would chase me home. Me and my best friend, Melissa. Did your brothers ever beat up any of the guys you saw or brought back to the house? No, why would they do that when I could do it myself? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> the one time I remember Johnny used to like get me to go beat up his girlfriends. He's like, I don't want to date her anymore. You have to, she's, she's talking back to me. I'm like, Fighting her, she's five years older She's than me. I'm talking back fight with to her. me, <laughs> fighting her. I forget what her name was, and he was trying to get me to fight her. She was really tall. I was like, I'm not fighting this fucking girl. And you just break up with her. But he was Johnny was the one GQ Johnny we call him. He used to put notes all around the telephone, and then my little sister Edie, she didn't know, but she could read. 
<laughs> and so uh, she answered her phone. It was this girl, Renee, he was dating. And Edie was like, oh, hi, Renee. She's like, oh, hi, Edie. You know, because you have to be nice to the whole family. So they're going on and on and on. And she goes, uh, where's um, Johnny? Is he home? You know, because at that she was like five or something, six. And uh, is Johnny home? And she goes, oh, wait, there's a note. If Renee calls, tell her I'm sleeping. <laughs> He read it. <laughs> he hasn't been the same since. That was the love of his life. <laughs> was it? She left. She left. Oh, quick. that is hilarious. <laughs> Maybe she was older than six. I forget how old. But yeah, Johnny was, that was his high school girlfriend. He was in love with her. And it, um, Edie ruined it. <laughs> Renee calls. So we'd always tease her. If Renee calls, learn how to read the room, bitch. See, my brother, I have a twin brother, and we look nothing alike, Completely but we sound alike. Completely forgot you were a, twin, a real twin. It's creepy. But you don't look alike, so you're fraternal. No. Yeah. yeah that's mm -hmm. right. Um, wow. But there are still times today where okay. I'll say something, and I can hear it come out of him, and I'm like, ugh. <sighs> it just feels weird. Why? It's just weird because I'm my, I'm my own person you know what I mean and to have some so but I hear that in my brothers and sisters we all sound yeah. a lot alike like people can tell it's a Kerrigan it's yeah, a weird see, thing but you couldn't tell us apart so whoever called the house so if there was a girl that he didn't like but who liked him I would fucking get that call and be like I yeah like and I'd be that. like hey you're going to movies with Sarah on Saturday he'd be like you're a dick you're a dick <laughs> I'm like oh, you're going to see Police Academy too, bro so you certainly are get that grass cut money ready <laughs> Grass cutting. Damn, you guys are bougie, huh? We used to do, yeah, that was our summer job. Cut what grass is, snow, and shovel snow. That's impressive. Just we push your lawnmower to, yeah. Paint addresses, shoe shine. Me and Billy did the shoe shine You thing shoe shined? Well, well, <laughs> people How are old like, are you? <laughs> did you? <laughs> Just singing a Were barber you in a shop. Big band? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> no, so my dad, we asked him for money and he owned a typewriter store. So he gave us a shine a shoe shine box. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget it. I had the thing. It was like Yeah, the wood one that pops the up. Foot, you put yeah, your foot on the yeah. top mm -hmm. so you can shine everything. And Billy was like, oh, guess we got to shine shoes. And we were like, we didn't know what the fuck we were doing. And so we would go to bus stops. And there was a drunk guy. They would let us in the bar. He would let us shine his sneakers. And he'd go, the carry-ins are here. Let them shine your sneakers. <laughs> I don't know. He gave us three bucks, whatever it was. We bought cigarettes. We're idiots. And so uh, this guy, I remember this big black guy under a bus on uh, 21st in Oregon. And Billy did his shoes. But he put the brown paw put black polish on brown shoe or something and it just and the guy what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> just run away with it <laughs> we got out of that business Ruined real quick <laughs> real that. quick because it was in the sun like we were outside so you could see it immediately it wasn't like he was in somewhere where you get away with him be like bye what other um like hustles did you have as a kid just to scrape a few bucks here and there no we did the paint and address i had to work for my dad at the typewriter store yeah, all the I time but immediately there was this did one you sell drugs did you ever sell weed or did you ever sell no. illegal cable boxes i feel like the kerrigan's it, dealt in some illegal no, cable boxes. yeah but that wasn't me <laughs> i know i could come to your house and get one though. anything jimmy we always <laughs> Jimmy would come in. I remember Jimmy would come in with like a side of beef. I'm like, what happened? He goes, just put it in the refrigerator freezer. I'm like, I don't, it don't fit. Like we don't have that. You could see how small. And he's just figure it out, you know. And just and my mother, what the hell is this? And Jimmy's like, it fell off a truck. Yeah, my aunt Margaret used to say that shit all the time. Well, get that truck out of this house. Like it was just crazy. But I remember. Um, my sister had a, a really good friend, and he said, hey, I had just started, I got my uh, worker's permit. You know, mm -hmm. you had to do it. So I think it was 14 or 15. I forget what the age. In the summer, I would lifeguard. Mm -hmm. so, so you had to get the worker's pro permit, and then you had to get your license and all that. So that was good money for the summer. Um, and then uh, this guy was like, hey, can I put you on my payroll? This is the most illegal thing I ever mm -hmm. did. And I go, sure, what do I have to do? He goes, nothing. I'm just going to file your taxes and I'll give you the tax return. And I was like, okay. So once a year he would show up with like a $1,500 check and it was the eighties. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> so that's all I did. And then he got caught doing something. <laughs> so my name was in the books, but they didn't know I didn't work there. Right. 
But he he they you know people do that they add employees yeah and stuff like that and then collect. So I I didn't know what he was doing. I was like yeah sure. And I'm, I remember somebody going, "Are you nervous?" And I go, "About what?" He's a good guy. I mean, he's dead now, but <laughs> good people die. Good people, good people die. die all the time. Yeah, he every died. Day. I remember it was something, and he died young. And I was like, "Oh, it's probably a lot of stress." <laughs> you just may think of this too. It's one of the things I didn't know I was doing. So I worked for. I was saying I worked for my friend's dad in his junkyard, and from seventh grade up until like tenth, we're just pulling parts. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm fourteen. I have a yard car. I'm driving. Yeah, and if you're a grown me coming in right now like I need a mirror and he his dad be like Ryan take him up on the hill and get a mirror and this little 14 year old kid's taking you in a beat up Delta 80 yeah. with no door and we're going up dirt roads the to go best. get your mirror best job ever and um I turned 16 and now I just want to drive everything okay 16 years old now I can deliver for him if I want you know what I mean and so he's like I don't want you going out too far so um Come with me. We're going to do a few things. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And we would drive to this parking lot, like a Walmart or something. And he'd be like, that car right here, he'd pull up next to it. He's like, keys are in it. Just drive it back to the junkyard. I don't give up. I don't ask one question. I'm 16 and I'm driving. That's right. I'm hauling ass. I'm following him back. It's And it's probably like a five-mile ride, but I'm king of the world. Yeah. This. And then like three or four more times, we do it over the course of the, the month. And uh, I'm just like, why the fuck are the keys always in this thing? <laughs> and then it dawns on me. Why? How dare you ask questions? And a friend of ours tells us he did it. I go, dude, was that your fucking Mustang I drove today? I swear to God, it looked just like it. He goes, it was. I go, what are you doing? He goes, I go, are you reporting it stolen? He goes, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So the whole time I'm driving stolen cars. Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. To a junkyard. You have to set have them on them fire? Crushed. Yeah. No, they oh, crush crushed. them out and sure. then part them. And I swear to God, Guatemalans would come up and they would just take truckloads of just scrap metal and stuff. Sure. And sure, get sure. these stolen cars. And then my friend would show up with a new firebird. I'm like, this motherfucker. Yeah. There was the insurance scams that were good I'm like that. I'm driving stolen cars left yeah, and right. Yeah, great. Like an asshole. You know what I mean? I'm hauling ass and I'm like, the keys are in them again. You're like, what are the odds? This is a killer. <laughs> this is a great car. Always right here. Pull them down. Boop, right into my lap. <laughs> I'll take your Pontiac Sunbird back to that junkyard, <laughs> motherfucker. Pontiac Sunbird. <laughs> I'm driving everything. Oh, one of my favorite jobs, man. I worked at this place called the Baltimore Washington Auto Exchange. Washington. Yeah, Baltimore is. Washington Auto Exchange. <laughs> Dead in between Baltimore and Washington. Yeah, and perfect. And it was the best fucking job because I'm in college. So I'm like 20, 21. Yeah. And it's me and like two of my high school buddies would get this gig. And all you have to do is – now, here's the thing. This is the only job I was ever punctual for. Like, on, uh, excuse me, not punctual, early. Got Always it. punctual, early. Well, that that hurt, but right, go ahead. That's an yeah. intentional point. And I, um, I get there early. Because on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, yeah. if you are one of the first 15 people, I think it is, to get there, you get a license plate. And your job all day long is to drive these fucking nice-ass Lincolns and Cadillacs, oh, brand wow. new ones, from okay. lot A to lot B. Okay. They're just an auto exchange, and they're moving, and we're just driving them all and day this long. this is legal. This is 100% legal. Wow. What some okay. of those people did when they just made a left turn when they're supposed to make a right and took the car, there that's not legal. And they get caught <laughs> They get caught in 10 minutes. That's, that's a dub stupid. thing. stupid. It's yeah, yeah. all tracked. So we're just driving Lincolns and Caddies and all these nice-ass cars all day yeah. long. But on Thursday, Thursday's auction day, and if you've been sitting in this plush AC and everything, when you fucking roll in on Thursday, you get the auction line that's the 80s and under. Oh. We're getting the 76 and these, <laughs> like the dots and 210s, oh. like, hang out. It's all hot in there and shit. The, the bubble bath. Oh. Yeah. All the trapintos, like the worst yeah. fucking cars. Everybody else is getting the nice ones because we're out the rest of the week. So you got to suffer. You're in a Vega. I like, get. Ooh. I got a three on the tree van. I oh. learned how to drive that. Okay. That was pretty fun. That was pretty easy, actually. You just fucking put the clutch in and shift. But the, uh, this Corvette, I'll never forget this fiberglass piece of shit Stingray. It's probably like a 76, wow. but My it brother is a, would stab you is in the a throat. Bag. It's beat yeah. up, though. It's okay. trashed. And I pull in, and what happens when you get it? I don't, have you ever been in an auto auction? Yeah. 
And the guy's like, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, yeah. and there you sit there in the car, and people reach in. They're testing the power steering. They're reaching over and putting the AC on yeah. real quick. But you're just sitting here, and they're hitting you across the face. Nah, yeah, yeah. They're doing this shit. Just checking. But every everything. now and then, because I'm in the the beat up lane, it would be like one of your brothers would come up to me and just just put a twenty in my hand and be like, tell him the brakes work. And then, but how the brakes? I'm like, they're good. You know. <laughs> Shit like that. Slip you in 20s to lie about everything. Well, I swear to Perfect. God. The guy says, how are the brakes? And I say they're good. And they're not good. No. Clearly. And this guy is, there's, you know, they're all standing around. And it just lurches. Like, hurt. And like three of them, on the hood. They're like, what the fuck? I'm like, sorry. <laughs> sorry, oh. bro. I ain't giving that 20. I'm like, my foot slipped <laughs> off. The brakes are fine. And then you're like, hang, 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 hang. you get it out of there real quick before it dies and shit. It was oh, the best yeah. job. And these guys, a lot of the guys were older black dudes that were out of work. And they were the yeah, funniest. Yeah, because you can get great deals, oh. too. Oh, you mean working there. Working with us, working driving. There. We're yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. These are like 56-year-old men. But buying stuff, too, you can oh, get. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But My brothers these guys would rather... were so funny. So fucking. They were cutthroat. They didn't give a fuck about anything. They would yeah. shit on you. Like, forget it. HR at this place. You know what and, I mean? And that's the beauty of life. Those yes. are real people that speak a real language. And that's when they're shitting on each missing. other and you just get to sit back and watch and laugh. Like, oh my God, how's it going? How's it going? How's I've going? been the recipient. I've mm -hmm. been the spectator. I love it. I love they it. They used to call this guy, um, I don't know why they called him it. When we got there, they had already been working there and they called him Hog Dick. I have no idea why. It's burned in my He's memory. Single? And they would yell. I mean, come on, Hog Dick. And he was built <laughs> so weird. He was built. Built like That's why grimace. I had a hog dick. He was built like yeah. grimace, I swear. Top, skinny top of the bet like a bell. Bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and they would all yell to him, hey, hog dick, you got bitch hips. That's what they would say. <laughs> and we're 21 years old, laughing our of ass off. These old black dudes called telling bitch this guy he's got hip. bitch hips and he's just trying. <laughs> He's driving a slop a lot all day. Like, Hog Dick got bitch hips. And once someone laughs out loud, it's but, over. That's it. It's over. It's now like, here the whole van's coming. Now they're yeah, doing stand-up. Yeah, yeah, now yep. they got a whole... Yup, and it is hilarious. They're like, you like that one? You like that one? I'm like, I love that. That's good. That's do you good. ever think of those people and think, how would they do as a stand-up? Because those are the funniest people in the world. The funniest. Mo most be most of my friends. But what I'm saying, they probably would suck at stand-up. Right. But today, could put a fucking phone up here right here oh, and yeah. talk all day long and have 10 million followers. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but then they get flagged on the internet. They would they never get right? monetized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they would never be monetized. Because they say the most fucked up shit. I mean, I, I, I was joking about this story, but you brought up hog dick and that got me hot. And... Well, I, I didn't even remember. I don't even remember what I was using it in. But like, you know, you're talking about the first time you saw a titty. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time I saw a penis. I don't like to say that word. First time I saw a dick was um, my brother's best friend, older than me. Eight oh, so years. I just assume statistically in that house, how many, like, how they, many toilets did you to have me, in that house? Like they, one, uh, two, one and a half. Like I would we assume it would be your brother's dick you would see first my uncle, one of them. Right. Uh, but I didn't. I don't remember. That's, or yeah. I don't remember. You know, or maybe we were too little. I don't, whatever. But So how old are you? So at this age, when he did this, uh, this is my brother Jimmy's best friend, and he's a little off, right? And we all knew it. And it, like he drove my mom crazy. He would come in the house and he would uh, take all the pictures out of the frames, turn them upside down, put them back in, and hang them back up. So she'd go like this, and they just fall, you know, because yeah, he turned yeah, the actual yeah, picture yeah. like a psycho. God rest his soul. He's dead. And, oh yeah, and uh, <laughs> this was our. Fa he spray painted our dog. Like this, Stephen was. Crazy, God love him. So one time he goes, "Hey, I, I, I," uh, <laughs> he goes, "I cut my dick," and I was like, "What?" And he goes, "Yeah, look," and he and he had a band aid across it, and he pulled it out. He we really were did. outside. We were in the street, and I just remember looking, and I was like, "Oh, that band aid covers the whole thing." <laughs> He was so mad. It's wrapped I around. I was young, and I was like, "Wow!" I I just <laughs> little Dick Steven was born that I've day, seen bro. Pictures of what the fuck was that? You know, and he oh he was like, "Fuck you!" You know, he thought he was being funny, and then I just hit him with that one. But I, I, I really it was like the band aid was bigger than the dick. But it was you know he's a, maybe he's a grower, not a shower. A lot of Is that the right way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I always felt bad about that, but he was so, well, who the fuck shows a kid? Thank you. In the public. The truth. In 
the street. In the 18th street. and Johnson. You're not. Anyway, it wasn't it over was there. A busy 14th street. and Boone. <laughs> I said that one fully, right? 18th you, you and did. Johnson. You did well with that. Eight, I'm learning. My 12th mm-hmm. Wolf, though, comes off different. It's the. I don't know. 12th. 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 How do you say 12th? 12th. 12th. Okay, look, this isn't my American Twelve. Standard English class, okay? I got kicked out of that one. Did you? Uh, in college, they were like, you're, we were doing Shakespeare, and they were like, we can't understand you. And I'm like, it's Shakespeare, bitch, yeah. and nobody can understand it. <laughs> and so, mon pom pom, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was so bad. I was just a witch. And so I was like, whatever. And they made me take American Standard English because my accent was so bad. And I would practice really hard. But obviously it didn't take. It, it takes and then it doesn't. Like my mom says, when I'm home, I remember like I'm F, it, we were at the doctor's office. Somebody came in and I'm trying to speak without a Like I have marbles in my mouth or something. And then a friend came in and we started talking. And my mom like, oh, look who reverted back to type. (laughs) Type. (laughs) And I was like, we're in the fucking neighborhood. Like she's talking. I got to talk right. I got to say the right things. But yeah, it does click in every once in a while. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it gets thicker when I go back home for sure. When I come back, I can still hear yours though. Did anybody ever like tell you you don't we don't understand what you're saying? Let me tell you something. In Baltimore, everyone sounds pretty fucking similar. Yeah. There's people who have Baldinger and I we talk about all the time because there's people that have an accent that are like, Crazy ain't got no clothes on. You know what I mean? (laughs) Sarity. What, when are you going over there? Saturday. 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 And, and the actor who turned in Bat Han trees. Solo, Billy D. Williams, is, oh, yeah. is Billy D. Weems in Baltimore. <laughs> Weems is Williams. If you say it, you I can hear it. it. Weems. What's his name? Uh, Billy D. Weems. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? That's Baltimore hardcore. <laughs> It's hardcore. Crazy. I love And I that. feel that I have something in between that and a little bit of something Same. else. So we draw our O's and our A's. We oh, oh, Excuse O's me, O's and our A's. O's. We say phone. We phone. say home. We say road. Mm. But I never heard it. And in my mind, when I moved here, Eleanor Kerrigan, I fucking thought I sounded like everybody else. Today, today on a call, a lady said, where are you from in the South? And I said, I'm from Maryland. I'm from Baltimore. Whoa. You sound like you're from Texas. I get it. I, I've. I've been out Texas. here 20 some years and I bet you I get it at least still once a week. Oh, I guarantee you once a week. Funny. Somebody's like, You from the South? I'm like, No. Yeah, nobody asked me that. <laughs> Nobody's ever said that one. I get that a lot. But it, it, when I hear people make fun of the Philly accent, they usually do the what they do in the suburbs. And then I'm like, We don't sound like that. But I know what they're saying because I see them when they come to our neighborhood or whatever like I have cousins that live in the suburbs and speak a different way and then but when they come to the inner city it's a whole nother Twelfth Wolf ball game yeah it's just a whole weirder it's still fucked up but it's not as drawn out as like the suburbs. Right. You know, we gave in home with the yeah, flyers, go go flyers, go you know, flyers. like Eagles. flyers. Yeah, the Eagles. Yeah. I'm giving it an Eagles game. Mm-hmm. I can't wait. And, and then we're like, we got to go up to fucking Philadelphia <laughs> to see the goddamn Eagles play at Vet Stadium. We got to go. go home. We got to go all the way down 95. Be careful in that neighborhood because those kids are crazy. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> my daughter, man, we went back to Baltimore for shows, and I took her on tour with me for that one, and uh, she was going to stay. So my cousin came with me. He's going to work with me and sell merch and stuff. Okay. And then his wife took their two kids and my daughter to a parade in Patterson Park for oh, Halloween. Okay. And I was like, man, I, first of all, I never thought my daughter would be in Baltimore City alone without me, right? Right. And I told her, I was like, listen, she's a Probably three years ago. She's six. I'm like, listen to me. This is Baltimore City. I know where you live in Los Angeles. This is not Los Angeles. Right. This is Baltimore City. Yeah, yeah. And you need to keep your head on a swivel. She's like, what's that? I go, watch this. And I made her turn that motherfucker. I go, don't stop turning your goddamn head. (laughs) Yeah. And looking for everything all the time. And she went. She had a great time. Got to really see what Baltimore was about. Like, it's not the same. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it is. No. It's an angry city. Yeah. The whole East Coast, though, I feel like, is. I got in Any so many inner fights. City. Yeah. So ma- not even inner city. I fought in the suburbs nonstop. Oh, yeah, I, guess so. I, I guarantee you I've been in at least two dozen fights. At least. Uh, it, easily. Most for me. of them sports related, too. Most of them yeah, are sports yeah. related. 
couple of them video what? games. <laughs> I'll never, forget. I'll never forget. I, just, never, I was like, yeah, I guess so. Sports I watched related. Two friends. Yeah. We would we used to set up like um NCAA basketball. We would do tournaments and we'd have, you know, double elimination. We'd just get a bunch of weed. We'd all just sit around and we'd set up like five of us and we'd do a double elimination tournament and you had to pick, you know, your team or whatever. Okay. Instead of going out and getting drunk right. or whatever. And there's one time. You know, and we would talk mad shit. Like, it, there was a time on Madden one time where I got the kickoff. Yeah. And I could see the hole. And I turned my back to the screen and just stood there and ran it <laughs> back this way, looking this way while oh. we're playing this way, all the way to the house. And I was like, there's seven for you. And I mean, <gasps> and it would get heated with the— Oh, I bet. And one time, my buddy Greg said something to the wrong dude. I, I mean, I shouldn't say that because it's goddamn video game, but he beat the shit. <laughs> He beat the shit out of him in our living room, like, fucked him up. And I'm like, it's like, pull him back. It's a video game. We did it with our brothers and sisters, not outsiders. Mm -hmm. We did it. There was a night when Johnny and Charlie got in a fight, and they're very close in age. And and we had, like, Charlie's out there with a knife on Johnny. A knife. (laughs) That's what it'll do. And we're like, this is is probably, we should probably call some help. And (laughs) My buddy Chris and his younger two Three years younger, brother Corey. We used to play. Uh, the other one we would play was um, NHL. We played the hockey game on Sega Genesis. It was yeah. fun, great. And if you play with the Blackhawks, they were the team. You had Chelio, Steve Ooh, Smith, nice. yeah, Eddie yeah. Belfour, Jeremy Roenick. They were like oh, yeah. they crushed. I waited on him here. It was Did very you? Exciting. Roenick. Yeah. Dude's a Isn't that beast. weird? Is that a weird a reference? Beast. I, know, I love I was, that you know who he is. Only because I know your mom was a hockey fan. Huge, but yeah. also Harris P, our door guy mm-hmm. that was here for years, was a practice goalie for the Kings. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I didn't know that. So he brought Gretzky. He brought everybody. Oh no in. shit! Oh yeah, he he gave me Gretzky. Um, uh, I have a jersey, hockey sticks, pucks. He would bring them in, have them signed and everything, and I'd send them to my nephew Sean, who was like, oh hell yeah! At that time, he was like five or six. That's he's a, awesome. He's a nurse now. Anyway. Um, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I did that. We were oh, fight, uh Hockey, Ronick, Jeremy Ronick playing Thank game. You, Sega. Yeah, Sega, Sega. So we ended up, before WWE made a, a nice belt you could go buy at Toys R Us, we mm-hmm. made a cardboard belt with aluminum foil and shit. We would, you'd wear, if you were the champ, you yeah. got to wear the belt and you got to wear, walk around, talk all kinds of shit. Yeah. You drive over with it strapped to your shoulder and shit. Like, what's up, everybody? Come in with the belt. Yeah. And my younger, or my friend, um, Chris, his younger brother, Corey, beats him in hockey. And he just beats the piss out of his younger brother. Just Ooh. starts fucking him up. And we're all there. There's like six of us watching <laughs> these two. And we're laughing. But it's also like midnight. Yeah. His father comes down the stairs. We're in a little townhouse in tidy whities Comes down. Doesn't say a word. Rips that goddamn console. Rips it out of the fucking wall. <laughs> His tiny whities and takes that shit upstairs and throws it in his closet. I He's like, it's it. done. It's over. It's done. <laughs> So that was that was the end of Sega Genesis. That's at their what it's house. like to have a then dad. Then I'm like, hey, around. can we come over and play? Yeah, you guys, you guys come. You you not beat your brother up in my house, please. Yeah, I never got I into the it. games. I didn't like it. I like to go it play physical. But we were the generation back then that games were new, and you would think that that would keep us in the house the whole time. But we honestly had a healthy balance. We yeah, we would rather go out and ride bikes, play baseball, sure. tackle football, and sure. stuff. And then if we were bored or we couldn't get enough people to do that, then we'd be like, all right, we'll play fucking games. You yeah. know what I mean? And then we do that all day, and we well, we get tired of it and go outside. As a kid, were you like making people laugh? Yeah, you did that. You did, yeah, but like I have a to class say this, clown. All, or? No, f- I always. I'll never forget there was a book that said, were you the class clown? I was like, no. And then the next page said, did you always know you were funnier than the class clown? I was like, yeah, there it is. Ah. I never felt like I needed the attention that the class clown needed. Right. And also I was like, fucking amateur hour over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> this fuck, guy's a hack. What a fucking <laughs> hack over here. Oh, whoopee cushion, this fucking ass. Oh, what a prick. But I, but I have to say this. My friends were fucking funny. I, I was going to say, my, it wasn't I just me. It. Like I'm cracking with and they're coming right back. And I'm like, right. oh, you're, I have to say that my, so it's like a my family match. is, a, this yeah. is why you remind me, you're, you're like a cousin from another fucking family. Yeah. I swear. My, 
all my grandma, my grandma and all her sisters, my great aunts, they're all like you, like just it. fucking fiery. Old. <laughs> yep. Old, dead, most of them <laughs> dead inside. Um, I swear I'm still here. Love cards, love sports, love talking yeah. shit. Didn't, didn't, you know, pull any punches. You knew right where they stood yeah. and they were funny. They were dry yeah. senses of humor, but just nonstop funny as fuck, just one-liners. And I would laugh at them, and I would see them look at me, and then I could see that they loved it, and they would keep yeah. giving them. And then as I got older, I started playing back, and I would be like, oh, you guys are laughing at me now? That was the biggest Oh yeah, if I could get them, if to I laugh, could get the people like, that I oh. thought were funny to laugh, like the older people, yeah. then I was like, man, I'm doing something right. But all my immediate friends, even my brothers, I felt like everybody in our circle was fucking funny in oh, their yeah. own way. Every I, one of them. I I, I'm t I still every day I text with my friend Anthony, and I literally he levels me. I'm like, what the fuck? This kid is hilarious. We never had to like, I'm depressed, kid in our group, or I'm trying no, to figure things out. We are, out. but we and prefer to did, shit like, on each other about you it. Whatever, yeah. homo, and then you get punched in the face, <laughs> right. and then you go outside right, and play. Right. Yeah, people are like, oh, you, you know, because I, I, I have depression. We all have it, whatever. But nowadays, kids are like, I have to be mm -hmm. because there's too much fucking time, and nobody's telling. Them, get the fuck out of here. I, I told you, I used to like hang under the table in the kitchen and cry to my dog. And my brothers would be like, get up, get up. Mommy said, go clear. You know, just like, so my little tears had to dry up and I'm like, I ain't in here. Yeah. You know, and then you just had to move. Now I live in LA by myself. <laughs> just I go home a lot, but. It's you can go home a lot. I feel like I've seen I you more in Philly. Then yeah. here, yeah. Now I go home because, you know, my mom's getting older or whatever. Yeah. We torture her. But she, uh, again, I wish I was as funny as that fucking lady. I'm a little worried about her. Uh, you know, she watches Outlander on a loop, and that's a, a, loop. A, a glorified porn. That's uncomfortable. Have you seen it? Uh-uh. Okay. It is, every time I go in there, like, somebody's getting railed, right? I don't want to. I know I do it in a bit, but I'm, that's what it is. And and then she'll be like, oh, they go back in time. I'm like, all right. But the other day. Your Jeffrey Dahmer bit about her is the one I really Oh, love. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so good. That's the problem Because we watched. Yeah, 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 Not yeah. that he eats people, but that he's gay. <laughs> it's hard to watch. Oh, because he Honey, eats people? No, because he kisses men. <laughs> Wait, what? This is a lot to take. Sick, right? So yesterday, it's so fucking funny. I had to like send a signal oh, to my little shit. sister because the lead guy in this Outlander show, I forget his name, Sam something. I should look it up. But she, the lead guy, she is writing to him on Facebook. You're wonderful. Wait, your mom? Yes. Oh, no. I thought you meant in the show. No. <laughs> your mom's messaging him. Yes. <laughs> Publicly. Sam Hugan. Yes, it, I have it. I have it here. Oh, yeah, shit. So, so, oh, you're wonderful. Isn't it funny when an so, older lady has a crush on someone? Right. This is him, Sam Hugan, right? Mm -hmm. You can show it on the thingy. And then she wrote, you're wonderful. And they wrote, Edith Kerrigan, can I get the honor of having a private conversation with you? If you don't mind, send me a friend request. What the fuck? Hey, Sam Hugan. Watch, What's your his mom's going to get on a show before Ju we do. <laughs> Or kidnapped yeah, at 85. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Sam Hugan fan page. My grandma. There used to what be is a, this shit? Do you know who Jim Palmer is? He used to be <laughs> no, a pitcher for I the like, Orioles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like, wait. Hall of Fame pitcher for the Orioles. Oh, that's a great name. He I was going to say it's Go crystal ahead. blue eyes. Mm hmm. And my grandmother used to be like, oh, because then he, then after he retired, he did a an ad for jockey at men's underwear, oh, and he would do the briefs. Sure, and he's tan, pretty built, you know. And my grand, my grandmother, she would come on and she'd be like, oh, that Jim Palmer, like grandma, shut the fuck up. She's like, mm, that Jim Palmer. <laughs> and my grandmother was not like that, no. but Jim Palmer apparently fired her fuck up. Yeah, Jason Worth did things like that. Darren Dalton did it. To <laughs> Lenny Dystro. Oh, Lenny was great. <clears throat> Lenny's um, a friend of mine. I love Lenny. Tug McGraw. Tuggy. Um, so one time I'm at the mall and he just coincidentally is there doing a signing. So yeah. I just get in line. And back then they would give you like a little three by five picture. Okay. They all had one. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? And to sign it. So I go up to him and I'm like, and I loved him too, but I didn't mean to be offensive. I was like, my grandmom loves you, man. He's just like, this motherfucking kid right here. 
<laughs> so I go home. I'm like, hey, grandma, I guess who I saw at the mall today. She's like, who? And I go, Jim Palmer, that's for you. She hung it up on the fridge. She called her girlfriends, her sister, oh like, guess what Ryan got me today? And I'm like, ew, is my grandmother fucking having sexual urges? Right? I'm getting the fuck out of this house. <laughs> you know, Eleanor, Stop. you got to, your mom has got to be careful because there, there's this whole scam where old ladies think they're texting with Kevin Costner on Facebook. I believe oh, it. Shit. Yeah, like, That's why oh, I sent it to my sister. Yeah, I go, hey, you got to like fix this right now. Up. It's always, it's Kevin, it's a lot of Kevin Costner, but I'm sure this guy, like they find women, they romance them, and the next thing you know, they're sending him money. Like there's literally, somebody I know, oh, yes. their mother thinks that they're sending Kevin Costner money. Hilarious. Really like needs Kevin it. Costner needs money, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guy's on Yellowstone <laughs> right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, it's you know, true. they don't pay him as much <laughs> since that strike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's always got some crazy story about how he needs it or whatever. Oh, He's gonna get yeah, my yeah. God. Thank you so much. You're really helping me out. Well, whoever runs this Sam Hoogan pay, I'll find you and I'll fucking you choke you bitch. out, I'm bitch. Listen, don't mess with my mother. She likes that guy because he's always high hard and somebody <laughs> it's a, i'm telling you every time i go in there just, uh, i go mom it's like a porno what is the name of your special it's called lefty son after my father okay uh, it's on my youtube at ryan sickler everything's ryan sickler.com you'll yeah. go see the honeydew there the way back we gotta get it. it to the million get it to the million i'd love it. let's find love it. it that was I'll just for me it. i think i did watch it actually a while like, ago you know, if I How got long has it, it been a, out now? Just since May of last year. Right. Not a year yeah. yet. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember when you put it out. That's what I'm saying. I remember watching it when you put it out. And it was great because I wanted to see how it was shot, how it looked. Because you put, you did it yourself. And to yeah. me, I think that's amazing because I couldn't do, I could barely send a tweet. So. I, won't, I won't do it again, I don't think. You're just thinking too much about everything. Lighting yeah. and all that. I would rather be much freer with my mind next time. Yeah. You know. Shit fell it. on the piano and stuff, which was funny. Where did you record it? At the Dynasty. Oh, that's right. Typewriter I Dynasty. I tried to record like here, but my fucking pen ran out of ink during the contract, and I got, never got I'll it tell signed, you this. bro. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, blood. My blood ran gonna out. We're going to get you life. a new one. <laughs> just, you're going to have to leave part of your liver. You'll be fine. It's just use I've that. left part of my soul in this fucking building. <laughs> I've left part of my soul nah, in this building. Nah, soul's invisible. We need other shit. <laughs> We need hardcore <laughs> shit. Uh, well, all right. Check out Ryan Sickler. You're absolutely amazing. One of my absolute favorites. And I'm definitely doing the way back with yes, you. Yes, please. And, um, yeah. My special is out on comedy. It's, it, out it's, it's out. Right. Yeah. The special's <laughs> already out. View. Right. Come out. <laughs> my mother. Come, come and promote it. <laughs> she, thought, she thought Sam was on it. <laughs> Accidentally. Accidental click. I thought I was clicking on yeah, Outlander. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so so when I will come and promote it because I just, it, whatever. I, That's what uh, you have to do today. Absolutely. And I've already done a bunch, but um, I got more to do. So yeah, check out his special. Watch my special. Get his to a million for sure. I'll get a million. Get I don't mind that. But I now you made me nervous. It's gonna get flagged. It should. Flagships. It should. We'll Thank figure you for it having out. me. Thank you for coming. And sorry I was late. Don't ever be sorry. Like, subscribe, do all that shit. You know it. All right. Thank you. Bye.